afternoon. I'm Anne Marie LaFlame, and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Ford Motor Company is slashing 7,000 white collar jobs by August, which is 10% of the automaker's global workforce. Most of those 7,000 job cuts will come from the Ford operations around the world. In the U.S., 2,300 jobs will be cut through buyouts and layoffs. And here's how that works out. 500 workers in the U.S. will be laid off this week. 300 have already been laid off. 1,500 already left the company voluntarily since restructuring began last year. And some of those took buyouts. That's a total of 2,300 U.S. workers. A man convicted of killing three people at a White Castle is headed to prison to serve a life sentence without parole. William Wilborn Little was convicted earlier this month in the deadly shootings of three men, Rashawn Harrington, Trayvon Anthony, and Deshaun Gadsden. Police say he gunned them down on September 9th of last year at the White Castle on West Warren in Detroit. Wilborn Little says he plans to appeal his conviction. Detroit police releasing new surveillance video of two men they are trying to track down in connection to the shooting death of a woman. That video comes after a violent weekend in Detroit with four murder investigations underway, all involving women. The video was recorded at East Warren and Algonquin on the city's east side. Investigators say it shows a 36-year-old woman getting in the car with the man. That woman's body was later found on a Sunday in a vacant lot. Let's get a check now of weather with 7 First Alert meteorologist Mike Taylor. Much cooler today, a high of just 58 degrees. We'll stay mostly cloudy and breezy. Once we get into the overnight, the skies are going to clear up and the winds will calm down. We'll have an overnight low of around 43 degrees. We start to warm up at least a little bit as we get towards Tuesday. We'll be closer to 70 degrees. We should hit 70 for Wednesday and beyond. We start to warm up, but as you can see, it brings about a chance of storms just about every day going all the way into the weekend. Emery. All right, Mike, thank you. A local math whiz finished eighth in the NBA Math Hoops Nationals. Fourth grader Camilla Smith from University Prep Science and Math Elementary went up against 20 other students at the national championship this past weekend in California. The game is called Math Hoops, which is a fast-paced basketball board game that's based on math. Representing the Detroit Pistons, Smith made it into the final eight. A big congrats to her. And those are your headlines from 7 Action News. Remember, the news is always on WXYZ.com and the 7 Action News mobile app. I'm Anne-Marie LaFlame. Have a great day.